I present myself to you as a mayor for everyone. A mayor for the neighborhoods, for downtown, for business, for labor, for the powerless and the powerful, for the left, the right, and everyone in between. For everyone. I will be a mayor who tackles things head on and moves the bar forward. I will be your mayor. Thank you very much. I was surprised when Ed became mayor because he never aspired to be mayor. Uh, in some ways he was the accidental mayor, but he's the perfect mayor because uh, he understood both the top of society and the bottom of it. He came from the bottom of it. He committed his life, 12 years of it, to representing people who had very little, who were very marginalized, who were very powerless. So in that regard, to have a person who understood that community become mayor, terrific. But um, I think reluctantly he took that job, but he grew into it. A graduate of the Bolt Law School in Berkeley, Ed Lee worked for the Asian Law Caucus from 1976 to 1989. There he led tenants on an eight-month rent strike to get much-needed improvements at the Pinyon Housing Project in Chinatown. Former Asian Law Caucus attorney Bill Tamayo remembers those early days. I get hired in the spring of 1979 along with another attorney, Larry Yee, but we have no money to pay Ed. And then, the, you know, as it goes out, I think it was Sam Yee, who was the, then the new executive director, and somebody else had these great ideas to go, well, uh, Bill and Larry, why don't you kick in some of your money to help it out? And so, you know, we do it. And, you know, out of my $640 take home, which I remember, I, uh, I kicked over, I think, $125, $150 to Ed for like about three, four months. I never told my mom she would have killed me. But uh, so we did this. And it was just like all part because it was important. Ed was making a lot of sacrifices. He just needed money to eat, pay some minimal rent, and he actually had a, another side job just to help him make ends meet, right? And so, what that reflected was a lot of sacrifice and commitment on Ed's part. And I will never forget that. Ed Lee grew up in public housing in Seattle, so helping those in need was always close to his heart. Mayor Lee was an avid golfer and a huge fan of Bay Area sports teams, especially Steph Curry and the NBA champion Golden State Warriors. A few months after his passing, Curry met with the Lee family to present them with a customized jersey and an NBA championship ring. Obviously, not much Mary Lee met to uh, this, the Bay, whole Bay Area, obviously San Francisco. Uh, me especially, he supported every endeavor I had, whether it was here in Oakland or San Francisco, he always came and showed his face and, and supported, and that meant Thank a lot. So much, yeah. That meant a lot, and obviously I know how much he helped impact the, uh, the new arena. Um, I know he'd be proud of, of what that's going to be when it's, when it's accomplished and finished for, for the whole Bay Area and specifically San Francisco. So I want to thank you and your family for that. Curry believes a documentary on the first Asian American mayor of San Francisco should be made. I think uh, Mayor Lee was just a special person and to be able to, I guess, have as many voices and experiences um, and just personal accounts of what Mayor Lee meant to, to the Bay Area, um, I think it's huge, not just in the sports world and with the, you know, the arena and whatnot, but his, his community service and how he dedicated his entire life to that. For us to just share those stories, um, I think he would be proud of, of, of the work that he did in, uh, in his life um, and all the people that he touched along the way.